Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Theta token. Uh, Theta is obviously an extremely hyped up altcoin right now after seeing crazy, crazy gains to the upside. So I'm going to be going through this in a technical analysis video today. After mentioning it on Twitter over the last few days there was, you know, interest in me doing this technical analysis. So this is for you guys, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this, well guys and girls, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. As always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion of this altcoin uh, from a purely technical perspective. Okay, so the technical analysis perspective here, truly only saying what's on the charts. And, um, you know, I hope that you enjoy this one. should be educational as well as understanding how I'm currently trading this. Okay, so, you know, as mentioned, Theta is obviously seeing this crazy, crazy pump at the moment. Okay. 500 500% from its lows um but you know what you have to remember before i get into you know what's happening right now why we've moved up etc think of this so think of this really simply the market moves under two forms okay and i'm going to going to try my very best to keep this in layman's terms but as simple as possible though it's quite a complex topic i'm going to try and keep this simple the market really simply is moving in two ways accumulation and distribution Smart money, slash the, the bigger money in the market, buys at the lows. They accumulate at the low and they sell at the high. E.g. distribution is when they're selling, accumulating is when they're buying. They will buy while the market's going sideways and they will sell at a big move like we're seeing right now. Whereas retail, also known as dumb money, is not interested in an altcoin when it's going sideways at the lows. They, they're, they're not interested by this. It's not stimulating them. They're only interested in trading this after it's seen a 500% move to the upside. And now suddenly they're like, oh my God, I need to buy this coin. It's the, it's the top mover. You know, it's the same cycle over and over and over and over and over and over again. The market is fueled by emotions and never w really works out well so i don't know why people keep on trying but no you know it never really works out well but that, that's how the cycle really moves in this market you see accumulation distribution obviously there's there's sub cycles within this and it, there's a lot there's a lot more complex but nevertheless very simply we have accumulation distribution and what have we seen here on theta in the past theta in the past went through a sideways accumulation range obviously with this crazy move in the middle but nevertheless sideways accumulation range before the markup OK, mark up, distributing at the highs and then you come way back down, obviously overall taking out the lows of where your prior accumulation was and then going through the cycle again. So this was half a year accumulation and this is even better. This one is even better better so um you know people asking me uh, you know i've got said quite a few times i've said people have said to me is, is theta a pump and dump token is is this a pump that's just going to retrace you know instantly and, and and lose every all its gains and my, my 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 honest opinion is is that it's not because of the fact this went through an extremely well processed accumulation range okay so it's very 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 nice the accumulation range they went in overall over a year if we're looking at it from the uh, I'm going to try and say this word. If you're if you're in the champions group, you know I struggle with this when I go through these schematics. Pre preliminary, preliminary, <laughs> preliminary. Can not say this word. I don't know why. Pro and I just end up saying primary support. But the first the first point of support that we saw in this market from from where the sign of strength was here, uh, you know that's 407 days. Okay, and really from the selling climax to that sign of strength, that's coming in at around 366 days. So we can see a year long accumulation schematic. It's just absolutely beautiful. And what I want to say is smart money is buying at the bottom down here. Okay, smart money was was sort of signs that this was going to take off um, and, and, and definitely not so interested in buying up where we are right now. And I will tell you, I have bought this today. OK, but this was off of a day trade, short term sculpt trade, not interested in taking swing trades up here. But yes, I was interested in taking swing trades at, at the lows of Theta because I, I was recognizing the potential of this coin. Um, and I'll, and I'll, I'll attach a video at the end for this. But nevertheless, um, you know, what we can see here is obviously our, our selling climax, which is a really pivotal support resistance. I look at it. So your selling climax. And let me just uh, acknowledge this, by the way, because I'm, I'm sure people will say, you know, the, the, obviously the schematic doesn't fit perfectly to Theta, but you have to remember this this schematic is taken from, you know, the stock market per se, where we're looking at billions of volume flowing in, whereas this is this is a small, uh, small slash medium market cap altcoin. OK, so obviously the volume is not going to line up perfectly to the schematic, but nevertheless... I'll put this on for more educational reasons. The selling climax, look at the, you know, the support resistance. Selling climax, resistance, 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 support, support, move to the upside, a little bit more of SR levels before being claimed. And there you get your last point of support, don't you? 
as you then finally break through that monthly okay break through that monthly and then you go up to the high of the automatic rally going up to the high of the automatic rally claiming that as support for three or four days before you get an, a, a you know a crazy big 250% markup okay so let's just acknowledge that this was a crazily good <laughs> accumulation range and the monthly levels here were actually pretty well defined well, we had the low here of our first monthly coming in at around, well, uh, uh, exactly, actually, 928 sats. 928 sats was the low back, back in November. And then we have the, the, the secondary low that we had here, which was 930 sats. So you never took the low. Okay, you never took the low. Um, so, you know, if you were in a long from back here with your stops below this low, you, you would have still been in, <laughs> you'd still be in the position months later because of the facts. You never, you never took that low, did you? So, um, you know, this is the thing that this was a beautiful accumulation range. And then obviously what we can see here is your sign of strength as we move, I'll come down a time frame. We can see the sign of strength as we get above that automatic rally high. Even from here, you reject the first time, make another higher low, another higher low, come back up to the highs, break the high, make a higher high, come back, hold the automatic, <laughs> automatic rally high as, you know, now support, take off again. Okay, take off, get a little flag, take off once more okay so this is this is really 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 beautiful technical analysis okay but i, I want to stress well firstly i need to just tell everybody this is not financial advice do your own research i'm not telling you what to do with your money this is for educational and entertainment purposes only <clears throat> i'm not a financial advisor all i am is a trader um so yeah do your own research on this but nevertheless what i what i see here is really amazing opportunity so have been trading this from the lows but nevertheless after we got this flag here move to the upside this is this is perfection so this this is what i just call technical analysis perfection okay so this is all obviously all part of our phase e have we seen the, the top absolutely potentially we have already seen our top but uh, it's just perfect the way that we've come down for this sr flip so this is our fixed range tool so here we're looking at the volume okay here we're looking at the volume of our range that started before the breakout of this range okay price Price, look how much the retracement was. Okay, from the high of this wick to the low of this wick, 52% retracement in just about, you know, just about a day. Okay, so in about one day, you saw a 50% retracement. But the, the the reason why this is so perfect is because you bounced off of the fixed range, so the, the highest volume point of the range, to the exact sat, the exact sat for a, almost a 30% increase. Okay, well, exactly, actually, 30% increase. That's that's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. For about eight hours, 30% increase in price from a really sim simply looking at uh, the highest volume point and, and it bounces off of it. I mean, that that's crazily good technical now. It's just, cra it's just crazy the way this market works. And people say technical analysis doesn't work. It's clearly it does. So where you, where you could be looking now in terms of, you know, is this a major high? I mean, arguably, we've seen like a blow off top here. Okay, the volume is, the volume was very high, but... <clears throat> I'm not so I'm not so convinced because of the fact that we went through this long accumulation range. This this does have the potential of of, of moving up for another leg. <clears throat> so I'm I'm aware that you can short Theta now, so it is available for margin trading. So that's in order you could you can short this coin, which which does increase selling pressure. But nevertheless, uh, I, I don't short altcoin. Uh, okay, I don't short any altcoins on Binance. Okay, I, I will on Bitmex, but on Binance I never short altcoins. I've, I've, I've you know I just don't short altcoins on Binance. So. I'm not interested in shorting this. I'm only interested in long positions, if, I, if I'm totally honest with you. So, um, you know, I have taken a, a, a day trade long on this one uh, from from, the, from actually last night. But nevertheless, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit more of a push up here. I, I would like to you know, see us retest really around this sort of 4,500 sat region once more. OK, possibly up to now, you know, again, 5000 sats. Well, then we could be looking. So, again, like when we're looking at accumulation distribution, we then have to be looking within these ranges of, you know, buying and selling demands. So simply supply and demand. What's the supply like when we push up higher? What's the demand like when we push down lower? I would say the demand is fairly obvious from our point of control there with your long lower wick, you know, advancement from that. Uh, we still have another two and a half hours. So, you know, especially if this two and a half hours, we could get back over 4,000 sats. Be, that would be very, very bullish indeed. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's arguably unlikely that we get 4,000 sats in, in two and a half hours. But nevertheless, the demand here was, is evident as, as people like me were, were buying on the retrace. I mean, uh, overall though, okay, so overall, if, if this, I mean, I, I think it's hard to deny that 
accumulation markup. Okay, it's it's it's, it's not so normal that you get a, a make really big markup like this and it just retraces instantly the whole of the move. So I would be surprised if you if you if you're seeing entries down at the monthly within you know like a week sort of thing. I, I'd expect distribution as well. Does is is not a instant process so you know a year-long accumulation you don't is, is it'd be, for me it would be weird to see this pump like it has and then just instantly dump it or i don't believe this is just a, a pump and dump altcoin i do believe that this has gone through a a a a, a, a well thought out process of accumulation this is now the markup you know we're, we're in the process of distributing and this is what i'm saying I, I would personally not be buying here for a swing trade this is where i would be offloading long-term bags and, and sort of selling up at these levels so you've got to be really um you got to really understand here that I'm only interested in now in longing this coin on a day trading perspective that means like buying in the morning selling in the night sort of thing you know one or two days holding holding long positions you know yes we can absolutely push up again higher but th 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 this for me is is entering distribution regions now we've gone through the market phase this is a 500% increase from the lows you are crazy if you're sort of buying up here expecting to see another 500 percent yes it's possible but you're also crazy if you're doing that and uh, you know this is where smart money is selling bags in, in my opinion you know you, you go across to youtube and I, I guarantee most people mentioning this coin are going to be like you know theta is taking off here by see another thousand percent i i my my, my opinion is, is is kind of a warning sign that you're too late to the move if, if i'm if I'm totally honest with you, I, I feel you're too late to this move. If, if you're buying here expecting another 500%, like it's already done, you, you're just simply too late. You've got to recognize signs. Just, just get it into your mind that you need, you need to recognize these sort of accumulation patterns. You need to recognize when a sideways range is likely to break up. And then act on that. Act on that when nobody else is interested. And it, it, it brings me back to, it bring, brings me back, I suppose, to, to Bitcoin. What happened yesterday on Bitcoin? You know, obviously, I was mentioning, you know, are you surprised 95% of the market turning bearish today one week too late? And it's it's the same thing over and over again, isn't it? Nobody's interested in shorting when Bitcoin's up at the highs. Nobody's interested in longing Bitcoin when it's down at the lows. And it's obviously I, I went into a Bitcoin long as after that drop. And it's the same thing here, really, with the altcoins. Nobody's interested in buying these altcoins when it's going sideways and it's really boring. They're only interested in buying it when it's already pumped. And it's the same, it's the same process with, you know, Bitcoin, for example, that Nobody's interested in, in in selling Bitcoin at the highs, and they're not interested in buying Bitcoin at the lows. You know, you just got to think really, really smart. And I, I mean this in the nicest way possible. Just, just try and think a bit smart. You know, um, understand the science, understand the technical analysis. Yes, there's day trading opportunities, but in my opinion, you're too late to this move if you're trying to buy it for for a medium term term buy. I mean, you're just way too late to. If I'm totally honest, you're way too late in my in my opinion. Um, so yes, this is obviously support at the moment. That's that's coming in at around three thousand sats. Three thousand sats important support. I mean, down from that, you're looking at two thousand sats, and obviously that from obviously from the lower the wick of where you are now. That that's another almost another forty seven percent decrease. Okay, so you know that that those are your that that, that those are the two supports I'd be interested in. Simply three thousand sats. I would be interested in around two thousand five hundred sats. And then down to 2,000 sats. Those for me would be the three levels of interest really simply where I would be willing to open positions. Um, yeah, resistance on the way up, as I was mentioning, around 4,000, then around 5,000 sats. And then, yeah, possibly you could, you know, push, push up again for, for another up thrust here. Absolutely possible where, you know, sky's the lit. This, this thing's on an all-time high. Okay, so this thing, if it takes the high once more, is at all-time high ranges. So, again, I, I would not be shorting around these regions. But I would be interested in sort of day trade, day trade longs. If, if given that potential, again, when we push up, we can look for signs of, you know, we can look for signs of supply and demand and see, OK, is, is this thing like moving up now on, on really, you know, basically thin order books or is there actually still demand here? I, I would be surprised if there's if there's reoccurring demand with increasing volume, to be honest, I would be surprised. But, you know, it's not impossible. I would be surprised. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that, that was my theta technical analysis today. It really explaining to you how the market moves we see accumulation we see markups okay so buying now in my opinion is yeah yeah there's there's fine you know I'm, I'm happy to buy here for day trades but in terms of swing trading here um <clears throat> I, I suppose I'm in two minds, really. I, I, I believe that this is a different than a standard pump and dump because of the fact we went for accumulation. You, you look at this on any random altcoin and normally there's no build up of accumulation. It's just a massive pump and then, you know, the instant dump. So... In my opinion, Theta is a di different in that regards in the fact that we went through a year long accumulation. So this is this has potential for for greater follow through. But nevertheless, I truly believe you're way too late to this move. You, you move on to another altcoin that hasn't had this markup yet. You know, there are other altcoins right now which have the same uh, accumulation schematics. So 
Forget about Theta if you're looking for a medium term altcoin. You're too late to the move. Yeah, it could move up another 500% from here. But in my humble opinion, you're a bit too late to, to be buying here. I mean, if you're buying here, where, where's your stop loss going to be? But 50% down from the lows. I mean, that's a crazy too big stop loss, isn't it? So, um, you know, that that's my opinion on this chart. Um Really nice accumulation schematic. Tips for the future. Recognize things before they move. Don't follow the crowd. Everybody's jumping into this now. Guess what? This is where where, where, where people are going to be selling. Um, that's my opinion on this chart. I, I hope it's been helpful for you. I hope you've understood, you know, the thought process that goes into trading, goes into recognizing setups. As, as I mentioned earlier, I, I'll, I will attach a video at the end of this video. So literally, as soon as I say goodbye, I'll, I'll, I'll attach a clip that will show me uh, basically uh, talking about this in the Champions live stream. Okay, so a Champions live stream that I done a while ago, where I was recognizing Theta had potential, where I was recognizing Theta could potentially move 100%. Uh, and you know, again, buying when nobody else is really interested in it. And it's it's been able to recognize these signs. That's how you make money in trading. You, you don't make money by following the herd. You don't make money by FOMO buying. You make money by making smart decisions in trading, period. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll attach that at the end of this video. You can watch watch my what my thought process was back in the time, why I thought this was going to move up. Obviously, yeah, I'm not going to say I was expecting like 500% gains because obviously I wasn't. But am I going to complain that it moved up 500%? Absolutely not. That's only a bonus because, because you know, I only long these coins. So um, I'll attach that at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy that one. Thank you and have a good day. Cheers. Thanks and goodbye. Tweets and bombs. Um, OMG obviously covered that one. So this is a long uh, ontology. Yeah, there's nothing there. Raven, no. Theta, this is one of my favorite setups at the moment. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. Compare Theta, Theta, theta however you are meant to pronounce this. Compare it to Ontology. Okay, so when we compare this to Ontology. Okay, so let's add Theta down at the bottom here. So the, compare these two charts, and I think it's absolutely lovely. Okay, so let's just put this here. So Ontology at the top. Okay, so Ontology obviously had this very nice <clears throat> very nice range broken to the low of the range big pump okay when we look at theta reaching similar levels if you compare the two how similar do those charts look to you okay all that we are missing <laughs> all that we are missing is for theta to now do this <laughs> i think they're really 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 sim obviously not picture perfect exact but i think they're really similar charts in in terms of you had a defined range okay you had a defined range Range was broken, taking the liquidity, moved to the upside, okay? You also have a fairly defined range. On this one, you've come down to the low of the range. I would now like to see Theta do very similar to Ontology and oh, Pump. <laughs> um, coming back to just one screen a second and Theta. So what we have here on the, obviously the Theta, what I had was this really nice range, okay? So really nice range. Oh, wasn't it really funny as well that I also gave this setup when it was at the lower the range back at the start of November and it got the move up. And as I mentioned, I think last stream or the stream before, uh, be really, really careful because Twitter has started shilling Theta. I literally, those were my words. This is where I mentioned the setup. This is where Twitter starts saying, here we go, here goes Theta. And look what happens since Twitter starts mentioning it. Absolute dumps. So, uh, uh, but yeah, now I think that shook out a lot of people. I'm more interested again in this. And I do think we can trade it back off of a back test of the monthly. Okay. So I'll be looking at it like this now. Okay. <clears throat> Would like to get on and around the low of the monthly. Okay. Low of the monthly. Oops, that's a long. Trade it back up to the higher the range. Ultimately, stops below the low. What about a four to one? Want to add on as you start to claim here. Once you've claimed that, then trade it. This is where you add on a large position size. This is start a position size. Okay, start a position means fairly small position size. Add on once you've got more confidence in that trade. And I'd say that's claiming the two five of the range. Easy trade it back up to the monthly. Okay, if it starts running, we all know that this this can run up. Uh, you know. Nearly 100%. But yeah, if you're adding on at the 2.5, it's still 70%. Um, yeah, this can run.